When you're a professional athlete and you have a physical injury, you can see it. When it comes to mental health, you can't see it. And what people can't see, they're afraid of. I was 21 and it was just so much fun. I was living the dream. We had just finished playing at the Olympics, had won a silver medal and on a run with the New York Rangers on their way to winning the first Stanley Cup in 54 years. So things were going in the right direction. I remember that moment, the exact moment in time where things just kind of almost stopped. I was out after a game with a bunch of friends and then it just felt like just something just broke. You go from thinking that you're going absolutely insane to am I this monster that's thinking these terrible things? Thoughts are screaming at me. They're like screaming loud. And all I'm thinking about is, is how did these 20,000 people, if they only knew what the thoughts were in my head? When you're a professional athlete and you have a physical injury, there's protocols in place. You need to do this and we'll have you playing in three weeks. When it comes to mental health, we're still throwing a dart at a dartboard. At that time, I was playing with the Rangers. I'm the third goalie, and I'm getting worse. And I figured if I just got home, it would all go away. Well, if I had an injury, they can't use you anymore. You might as well go home. So back then, they had stick blades. The bottom part was wood, and the shaft was aluminum. So I took the stick blade out of my hotel, and I just started trying to smash my hand with it. But I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Well, you're desperate, right? You're at a point where you'll, just, you'll do anything to make the thoughts go away. And the Rangers kind of get an idea that something's not right. So they end up moving me to Vancouver. I'm still having all this stuff, but everything's good. I'm hanging out with the guys. Corey had climbed his way up and earned a spot on the team. Happy kid, excited about to come to the rink every day for sure. That's the facade that you're trying to live up to. The thing about having a mental health issue is, is that you can hide it for only so long. So my second year, I'm just trying to hang on every day. It's getting harder and harder, though. Like, I'm starting to really spiral. I just wanted the thoughts to stop. I started losing a ton of weight. So now my illness is physical. You can see it, right? And guys are starting to wonder what's going on. We weren't aware of what was happening, and he didn't want anyone to know. And there's a code in the room that it, that would have been looked upon as being weak. And I walked in the locker room. I felt like less of a man than everybody else, right? I was hiding behind that mask, and then for my job, I'd go put one on. So I play that night, and I'm terrible. Like, I can't even see pox. Like, I can't play. If you're injured, you're sick, you don't feel good, no one cares. If you're in the locker room, you got to be ready to play. My teammates are pissed at me. I can't hide it any longer. Either I got to tell somebody, or this time I was going to end my life. So I go over to the coach, and I was like, I can't play. So they called an emergency team meeting, and guys are looking at me like, you know, what's, what's wrong with them? Struggling mentally it was just not something we'd ever seen before, and quite honestly, was viewed upon as unacceptable. And just the embarrassment and the shame was just the worst thing I could ever imagine. And I remember thinking I just threw my NHL career away. And it was then that I went and saw a therapist, and I finally get diagnosed. He sits with me for like 15 minutes and he's like, you have obsessive compulsive disorder. I was like, what? All those years that I had suffered and all I had to do was talk to somebody and get diagnosed. Like, it was just so alleviating to know that there was a name for it and that I could get better. And that night I went out and shut out Dallas. As his teammate and as his friend, I apologized to him to say like, man, that's so sad that you were struggling with this and you had no one to turn to. I've accepted that this is my path, this is my role, there's a reason why all that happened. And I played in the NHL. Just to play one game, just to play one minute is amazing. Let's get the word to the kids. Let's get the words to our schools, to our children. A bad day is just one day, it's not. You know, there's always tomorrow. Our brains are the most complex thing that we have. They're going to break. So how do we help people when they do?